Celebration can be very sweet. Yeah. Especially when there's frozen yogurt involved. There's a waffle cone. I started just wanting the community to come in and go, oh, where did where did this come from? And I wanted to be like, here, it just it came from Ashboro, you know. Marlo Petticord Francis opened up Delishy Frozen Yogurt Bar in 2011. At 11 a.m. with an 11% discount. <laughs> And since then, Delishy has grown with eight more locations in five different states. And with all the sweet success, you might be surprised to learn of a tartar twist. Marlo is closing down the Ashboro flagship for good. Oh, I just love everything about it. I've been here for almost seven years. Everyone here is like family. This is like a second home to me. It's just always been our place. It always made us feel better. Marlo gave customers about a week's notice with a heartfelt Facebook post topped with gratitude, explaining she had to close for personal reasons. By the next morning, I was just overwhelmed at the reach that it had already had, and it blows my mind. On her last day of business this past weekend, the endless flow of customers came with flowers, well wishes, and hugs. I love you, I love you. Marlo's head swirling, with her three kids there for support, hearing stories from other families, the memories they made over cup and spoon. Somebody asked me earlier, you know, how do you feel today? And I said pretty much exactly the way I felt on grand opening day, because all the emotions excitement and joy and a little fear and not knowing what the next day was going to look like. And the beginning of this journey is just as bittersweet as the end. Before Froyo was ever on the mind, Marlo married her high school sweetheart in Ashboro and had her first son. Her son is now married himself, but her husband Rick... Uh, he was killed in a plane crash here with his father in 1997 and the community just poured their love into our families during that time and it, it left me with just a desire at some point to do something to thank the community. For the past eight years, any customer who came through the door could take a spoon and vote for the cause of their choice. As the spoons stacked up, Delishy would make a donation. Marlo says in all, they've given to dozens of organizations sprinkled throughout the community. I feel like this week has shown me that this community is going to carry on the heart of Delishy, even with our doors closing for the last time. And as she prepares to do just that, she's reflecting on all the good flavors that can come out of a bad bite from life. Memories have been made here, and I don't know how a business owner could measure success any greater, really. Marlo says the eight other franchises will still be open, and she's been working with all her employees in Ashboro to make sure they have other jobs with the company or within the Ashboro community. Their last day in business was Saturday.